right? The Amazon Fire Stick, which is pretty much one of the cheapest and easiest devices to get and sideload via the Android operating system, sooner or later, probably sooner, is going to change their operating system. And then you're not going to be able to sideload all of your fun pirated applications that I myself and a few other people show you how to get. So that way you got to keep dishing out money to all the big cable companies and to streaming services and yada, yada, yada. Just wasting a lot of money, okay? We pay enough taxes, especially here in the USA. So who the hell wants to keep paying all of these big companies just more money to watch content that should be available to everybody? So with that said, uh, if you do have at least the money to spend on an NVIDIA shield that's pretty much one of the best device to pick up okay we'll have links down below in the video description affiliated links obviously uh to purchase the one on amazon and you can go from there now i do have an older version i think it's maybe like two years old it's the pro it came with uh the, the remote which i keep forgetting to put batteries in so now i got to use the um game controller that it came with okay and it's super easy to use up the game controller. So now if you have the NVIDIA Shield or you're planning to get the NVIDIA Shield, I'm going to show you really quick how to install Kodi. And with the install of Kodi, you'll also be able to install many other just regular apps and APKs, okay? Because you're going to be going to the Dr. Venture store, just like I show you in all of my videos for the Amazon Fire Stick. Now... With that said, uh, I did go ahead and I loaded up the NVIDIA Shield, all right? I already updated it. I think it's version 9.1. It may even have updated again. I'm not 100%. Um, but it was a few, like a few weeks ago that I did update it. Uh, and right off the bat, you're going to see where it says favorite apps. I'm highlighted currently where it says downloader, okay? Now, very simple, very easy. If you do not have the downloader application and you're quite new to this, then you just got to scroll over. It might be in your favorites, all right? but if not, then you scroll up, go on home, and then scroll over to the right, highlight apps, and then you can either click into it or just scroll back down and find where it says Google Play Store. Now you click on the Google Play Store, and then when it comes up, you search for the app called Downloader. All right, just type in Downloader, one word, D-O-W-N, L-O-A-D-E-R, uh, and you find it. It's completely free to get. Uh, you download it. And then once you do, it's going to look like this. Now, if you want to move it to your favorites, okay, on the home screen, then you come over to apps once again. Uh, you click on whatever application that you want to move the icon. You hold down the select button, or for me on the remote, or on the controller, the play controller, uh, the Xbox style controller, I'm going to hold down the A button. And then it comes up with this menu. You can move it to the front. Uh, and I have it and my favorites. So right now, if I click on remove from favorites, it's going to remove itself from favorites. But I can't even talk tonight. So I'm just going to click B. All right, I'm going to click B again. I'm going to go over to home. <coughs> Keep it going too fast. Now I'm going to scroll down. And right where it says favorite apps, as you can see, I've moved downloader to the front. So once you load up home, whatever app, app that you want right in the beginning so that way nobody got to search through your device it's going to be right here okay as you can see flix vision is right next to it so we're going to highlight downloader okay we're going to click it one time and fortunately it's already in there sees the nvidia shield it doesn't really reset it so i'm just gonna click home so when you do load it up it's going to look exactly like this minus my code that's already in there okay for some odd reason the nvidia shield just holds everything in there uh, a lot of other device say like the amazon fire stick or the google chromecast even the walmart on it kind of resets downloader once you leave okay but since this is an amazing device it, it's going to hold it in there or keep it on the same page that i left it on let me put it that way so what you got to do is once you load up here you're going to be highlighted on go from go you can scroll up you can just click into that, and then the keyboard's going to come up. Now, for me, I have to change it to the numbers, actually. And really quick, we can just delete it. And I'm just going to type in, once again, 92769. Okay, that is for the direct link or short code to the direct link for the Dr. Fetcher website. And then once you type that in, scroll down. You can either click Go. You can either click uh, the Enter button. So for me, I'm going to click the Enter button. It should automatically connect. It's going to give you about five seconds and then redirect you to the Dr. Venture website, which is dr-venture.com slash apps. <clears throat> and it is HTTPS. So Dr. Venture pays extra and I make sure it is secure. That is why you see a couple ads on the page that really don't quite bother you at all. Okay. To just help me to help you uh, keep this website for free. 
So once it loads in, now on other device, there are, there are option buttons, okay? But on the NVIDIA Shield, you just hold down the select button. You're going to get this menu pop up right here. Now, I would recommend to add current page to favorites, so that way you don't got to keep typing it in. On the left-hand side where you see favorites, you just go there, you click on it, and it brings up the Doc Adventure Store 1, 2, 3. Now for me, I'm just going to go full screen mode because I like watching it on full screen. And then I'm going to ever so slightly scroll down and if you're familiar with this, awesome. If not, I pretty much categorized everything nice and simple for you, okay? So right up the top in green on the left, you're going to see movie and TV show. Then next to that, live stream, IPTV service, media players, and so on, okay? So whatever you need is all going to be here. If I do not have something and you would like me to put it on here, since it makes it a lot easier to get it, just hit me up on any of my social media accounts. Let me know what it is. If you have a direct link, awesome, give it to me. Otherwise, I will try to find it, and then I'll recontact you and let you know that I have it, and you can double-check it and make sure that it is correct. So since this is Cody, <clears throat> okay, now with that said, you can pick and choose whatever you want. If you want to add applications, you go to Movie and TV Show and have all of the applications, okay? But since we're doing Cody, I'm going to scroll over to where it says Cody Versions. I'm going to click it one time. Now, an ad may pop up, okay? If it does, it's very simple and easy to click out of it. It may say close. It just may have the X, but the X is big enough to where you don't got to squint to find it. You just highlight it and click it. And then once you do, you're going to be in the index of APKs for Cody, okay? If you picked something else, then you're going to be in the index for whatever you chose. Now, I'm going to go down, and I know Cody updated, so uh, it is 20.5. I may have to change it a little bit to bring it down to the bottom where I like it, uh, but I just quickly put it on right before I made this video. So you're going to see where it says Cody 20.5, 32-bit version or 64-bit version. Now, what that means is, since I'm using the NVIDIA Shield, which is a almost like using a computer for an Android device, I can choose the 64-bit version. If you're doing this on something like the Amazon Fire Stick or the Walmart On device, I would choose the 32-bit version, okay? It's just, it's a lot easier for the device to use 32-bit version if it's not capable of 64-bit. You can most likely put 64-bit on the, the lower-end devices. However, it's probably not going to run too par on what you like it to run with, okay? So for me, I'm going to pick 20.564 because I'm using the NVIDIA Shield. I'm going to highlight it and click it the best I can. Then you're going to see it's connecting. Now, if you do get an error connection, I would recommend rebooting the router and then rebooting also your device, okay? Uh, it's nothing to do with really the Dr. Venture store, something with downloader. Hopefully, they repaired it and they fixed it because lately doing videos, I haven't been getting error, error connections, okay? But then again, I did uh, restart my device and reboot my router. <clears throat> and I do reboot the router, router a lot, okay? I mess with the kids when they're trying to play their Roblox. So once it downloads, you're going to say on the NVIDIA Shield, do you want to install this application? From Cancel, scroll to the right, highlight Install, and click it. You're going to see it's now installing. <coughs> okay, app installed. Now, I could open it, but I don't want to open it just yet. From Open, scroll to the left, highlight Done, and click it should bring you back into the downloader application right here. And in yellow, you're going to be highlighted on install. So from there, you're going to want to scroll once to the right, highlight, delete, and click it. And then from cancel, scroll once to the left, highlight, delete, and click it. And now what you've done is you've deleted the installation files that you no longer need, okay? Someone's, someone's crackling behind me over here. <clears throat> So what you did was you deleted the installation files. You don't need them because you already got the app installed. So if you don't need anything else, I would recommend hitting the home screen button one time, going back to the home screen. Now on my remote control, it's the three little buttons underneath the joysticks, okay? It has, uh, looks like two play buttons, and then it has a circle. So I hit the circle. Now it brings you back to the home screen. Now since... Cody is not part of my favorites. See, scrolling around, it's not of my favorites. I could hit the plus sign and go in, but then in the plus sign, you can only see the applications. You're not going to be able to really move them anywhere unless you want to move them within the favorites. But if they're not in the favorites from the get-go, then they're really not going to move to the front if you move it. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way up, highlight home, from home, scroll to the right, highlight apps, and then scroll down. And as you can see, Cody is right in the front because earlier I was messing with it and I did move it to the front. And as you can see, the NVIDIA Shield remembers where it was, okay? So it's not part of my favorites. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it on the remote. You can hold the select button on the uh, 
game controller. I'm just going to hold the A button. All right, and then I'm going to scroll down where it says add to favorites and click it. Now I've added it to favorites, and if I click B, it brings me back up. I'm going to scroll over to home. I'm going to scroll down from home into the favorites, and it's probably going to be at the end. There it is at the end. So I'm going to highlight it. If you want to move it to the front, I'm going to hold down the select button, and then I'm going to click on move, and then I'm going to scroll over and bring it all the way to the front. Click the select button again, and now Cody is all the way in the front. And if you click on Cody one time, allow it to load in. It's going to say Cody requires access to your device media and files uh, to function. Please allow this via the following dialog box or Cody will exit. So click on continue. Then it's going to say allow Cody to record audio. Uh, personally, I don't care what it's going to record because it's not like I'm going to be talking about anything uh, that the government's going to come after me for. So you could either choose while using this app, only this time, or don't allow. So I'm just going to pick on while using this app. Because what are they really going to hear from me? And allow Cody to access photos and media on your device. I'm going to click on allow because you must click on allow in order to use it. Okay, once you're in there, now you can scroll around and do whatever you need to do. And if you want to watch different videos of mine, uh, before going into the videos, if you don't want to watch the whole beginning, the first thing you have to do in order to use Cody and side load on Cody, different things. You just got to scroll the way up, scroll over to the sprocket and click it, and then scroll down and then over to system and click it, and then scroll down to where it says add-ons, and then from add-ons, scroll once to the right, twice down, highlight unknown sources and click it. You're going to get this warning dialog pop-up box. You can read all that if you like. Otherwise, from no, scroll once to the left onto yes and click it. And now... You can scroll over and go to File Manager and then go down to Add Source, click on None, and then you can type in whatever URL you need to type in to put any of your Kodi repos to get any of the builds, which you can find via the DocDaVenture Rumble dot com slash dr venture channel okay and if you have any problems or questions feel free to hit me up at any time on any of my social media accounts and we will take it from there as always i appreciate the support i appreciate the views and jumping over to rumble uh, like i said if you have any questions hit me up at any time on any of my social media accounts all of the links will be found down below in the video description i also have the purchase link it's an affiliated purchase link through amazon if you do want to pick up the nvidia shield if you do not already have it i gotta say it is one of the best best purchases i ever made now that i am starting to reuse it because of the whole amazon mishap i really love using it all right i haven't used it really that much since the the two or three years that i've had it okay remember i had it back in my old house while i was on the tv i did a couple videos and then i just let it collect dust now i'm using it a lot um and it's one of the best best things i've ever uh hooked up and used okay and if i am not readily available to help you out via any of my social media accounts then definitely check out number one cody source group on facebook the links will be down below in the video description uh 14 000 plus members deep no hate everybody's great i allow you to speak whatever you need to speak about just have respect for all of the other members and just the rules and if you are going to join make sure you answer all of the joining questions or else you will be declined and if you are already a member and you invite somebody family a friend make sure that they know to also answer answer the questions or else they too will be declined okay with that said uh, i hope this helps you out okay and like i said using downloader you can get to the doctor venture store if you don't want cody you can get any other application that i have in there and if i don't have it feel free to hit me up ask me and i'll see if i can put it on for you no questions asked all right so with that said i leave you with this and stay tuned for the next video thank you very much enjoy